everyone, it's Heather Moxie and welcome back to my channel. So for my first video of 2019, I asked you guys what you wanted to see over on my Instagram page and most of you voted to see me try to make over this dining room table. So this video is going to be an unusual DIY in the sense that I'm not showing you a step-by-step -step process. I'm just going to take you through the process that I use to try to breathe some life into this very, very worn down table. So I feel like this goes without saying, but I am in no way a professional. <laughs> I just really enjoy DIY projects and I especially love making over antique pieces or things with a lot of character. And if you're looking to make over an antique piece, this is probably not the instructional video for you. If you consult a professional, they will tell you that. But I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. So let's jump right into the supplies list. Now the supplies that I used for this video were pretty simple. I just used my orbital sander and then really fine grit sandpaper for finishing some wood glue, which led me to have to use some ties. And I actually refinished this piece with just a simple coat of Danish oil. Okay, before I break this table down and take it outside for sanding, I wanted to show you guys a closer look. So we've done a few test spots for the Danish oil that we'll be using. Um, and I'm very nervous about this project because I'm basically picking up the pieces wherever the last person left off. And what I mean by that is they sanded the whole surface. It looks like they've sanded part of the edge here, um, but this, the base hasn't really been touched. So the base is its original finish or what's left of it. And I'm very nervous because I know that I'm going to get a little bit, like this will be darker than these two portions here. And honestly, I don't think I can really accommodate for that. I don't think I can really um, fix that. I did look into getting it professionally sandblasted, uh, professionally power washed, but I don't, one, I don't wanna, I don't really have that in the budget. And two, I don't want to do anything else to this table that um, might harm it in the long run. So we're gonna be doing kind of, you know, <laughs> some patchwork here. Uh, I'm okay with the variation in tones as long as it's not super crazy. Uh, I think that adds to the character of the table and it kind of adds to the story. For right now, I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the sanding that was done on this table. So we have our test spot here. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a ledge going on here. It's part of the table surface. Now, whoever sanded it clearly just went to town uh, with their sandpaper and the grit level because we have the original edge, and as you go on, it just disappears. <laughs> it just is completely gone on this edge here, and I think a little bit over here as well. Not as not as bad. Um, actually, it's not actually it's not as bad as I thought because for some reason I thought it was on multiple parts, but it's a little bit here and a lot on this edge. So unfortunately. Uh, that has happened. I can't really put back what's already been taken off, so I'm just gonna do my best to restore it. Um, I know absolutely nothing about restoring furniture, but we're just gonna go with it. So we're gonna break this table down, take it outside, and I'm going to give it one last, uh, you know, one last try at sanding it and give it, giving it a finishing sand on the surface so it's a lot smoother. So let's go. Disassembling the table was actually pretty simple. Here you can see all the original framing and hardware. So we just had to unscrew a few things and the table legs came right off. The tabletop itself was actually pretty solid and the legs were really worn down. They were pretty wobbly. You could tell that whatever compound or wood glue that was there before, it was basically gone. So thankfully we were able to pry the legs and the joints apart without damaging any of the wood. And that made it a lot easier to clean. Here is my lovely fiance helping me clean all of the wood pieces. We gave them a light hand sanding and then we were really just focused on wiping the dust off and getting any of that surface level grime off. While he was finishing that up, I was able to start on the tabletop surface. I spent a long time sanding this table, but I didn't want to sand it down any more than the previous owners had because there was a lot of damage done to the surface during that process. So I focused more on sanding it down with super fine grit sandpaper to give it a much better finish 
finish. Before, when you rubbed your hand on it, it was really rough and you could pick up a splinter or two. And after I was done with it, it felt pretty smooth, but it still looked pretty rough. I went through and added several layers of Danish oil. You can see there were a couple bits that my rag just caught on, and that was because this tabletop had a lot of damage. So I'm sure there were ways that I could have fixed those areas with wood glue or wood filler of some sort, but I decided to leave them both out of ease and because I felt like it added to the overall character of the dining table. As for the finish, I was pretty happy with the mash that I got at first, but as it dried, I knew that the surface was going to be a different finish than the legs, just like I had predicted. So I kind of left that one alone and moved on to repairing the leg joints. I was actually pretty worried about this because once we had taken the legs apart, I realized that if we messed this up, we were pretty much screwed. <laughs> Thankfully, it worked out pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. You just cover all the areas with glue, make sure you have enough in there and pop them back in and wrap them up. the legs secured like this for about two days just to let everything cure and set and then we were able to reattach the table legs to the top flip it over and see how it looked Now as we flip it, you'll be able to tell just how different the table legs are than the tabletop. And this is exactly what I was worried about. I was really afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get a match. And even though that did end up happening, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I kind of like the two-tone and I like that you can tell that there is a lot of age to this table. I feel like the makeover that we ended up doing was not quite a refinishing, I guess not quite a makeover either, but just mainly cleaning it up. So I'm actually really happy that it still has a lot of its character it just looks clean and refreshed and ready for a new life now before i wrap this project up for those of you who follow me over on my instagram page you may know that we are already on to our next dining table we loved and still love the way that this table came out but it could only extend so far and we decided that it was time to find a much larger table so this table found a new loving home and we found a new table at our local habitat for humanity hopefully you guys will get to see that project soon so in the meantime please like this video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment if you like or if you have any questions you can always check the description box for more info. And as usual, I will see you in the next video. Bye.